what is everybody talking about when they say DPIN? Decentralized Physical Infrastructure Network. They refer to infrastructure projects that use token incentives to attract people to facilitate the bootstrapping phase of their projects. The infrastructure could be hotspots for wireless communication networks, sensors for IoT networks, digital storage space, computing power for decentralized computing. Individuals who provide access get rewarded with tokens. How does this look in praxis? Let's take an everyday example. Look at the home screen of your mobile phone. There's info about the local weather, right? It's data you and everyone else consume every day, no matter where you're located. The data comes from a weather network made up of sensors, or weather stations, scattered across the world. These form the network infrastructure. If you wanted to build it as a D-PIN, how would you do it? You'd offer people the opportunity to install the sensors, connect them to your network, and reward them with tokens when they provide data. Simple. Each individual who contributes to building the network gets rewarded. The more contributors to the decentralized infrastructure network, the more comprehensive and reliable the service you provide. In this case, the weather report. The same concept works for decentralized computing and storage, wireless communication, VPNs, energy, content delivery, and more. Just replace the temperature and humidity sensors with the relevant infrastructure, such as hotspots, digital storage space, solar panels, etc. So instead of investing time, money, and effort into establishing the infrastructure, companies basically outsource this part of the business. This way, they can build the network infrastructure much faster, scale, and maintain it more cost-efficiently than with legacy systems. Of course, there are risks involved as well. Curious about how D-PINs handle these challenges and want to learn more about their business model and competitive landscape? Check out our research at onchain.org.